Hi, Saints Fan Nation. We are sitting here with Coach Aaron Scott of the Men's Wrestling Program as we preview, preview the 2021-22 uh, season here. Uh, Coach, let's recap last year, and then we can get into this year. But um, you know, last year, the team started to come around, getting some guys uh, really close to qualifying. Um, you know, Joe Eads made it. Unfortunately, came a little bit uh, shy of being an All-American again. But let's uh, put it in your words. Talk about last season. Yeah, last season was a big step in the right direction for us. I would say, you know, overall as a team, we had our best dual season yep. in a really long time. Uh, we had some young guys that really stepped up and made a difference. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're just looking forward to having those guys back with a little bit more experience. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have some shifts in the, in the lineup this upcoming year, but um, last year was a really good year experience for those guys and, and it was great that that year didn't count yeah. for them you know right, so right, yeah. normally we would have maybe redshirted a couple of guys yeah. but this was an opportunity for them to go out there yeah. and get that experience get that competition and not cost them so that was really big for those guys and i yeah. think that really uh expedited their growth so that we could be a much better team this year yeah. and then you know yeah it, it was great that uh joe Qualified for nationals, you know, I know he was a little disappointed um, and not making it on the podium again this year, you know, or that year. We're, we're proud. Um, and then, you know, looking forward to this year, those those freshmen um, that were in the lineup, you know, we had four or five guys that if they would have won their last matches at conference, they would have went to nationals. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Their guys were right there, yeah. They're, they're right there. They're banging on the door. Um, surprisingly, they, um, NAIA passed. Um, that we can have more qualifiers, mm -hmm. more participants, you know, so we're going to have four additional wild cards at conference. So that's a big deal for us, you know, especially having that last year, you know, a couple of those guys would have went. So mm -hmm. we're really looking forward to that as well. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, let's, uh, you know, break down, um, you know, weight by weight here. It's right at 125 and go on up. Yeah. 125, <clears throat> we've got uh, Nadello Charles Pierre returning for uh, his uh, fifth year here. And uh, probably the front runner there, you know, he has some experience. He took fourth place at the conference last year. Yeah. He was one of those guys that was right there. He wins that third place match. He goes to nationals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so he's he's uh, has the experience now. He's continuing to improve. Though he's going to be pushed by some of those guys behind him. You know, we've got some freshmen that are, are coming in that are hungry. Yeah. Um, we also have Sean and Swasty who saw some time in the lineup last year. Uh, some of that was up at 133, so right. he's got that experience as well. Not as much as um, Nadello, but right now Nadello is probably the front runner, um, and those other guys are trying to take that. Yeah, right. Uh, 33, where obviously Sean maybe could be if it, if, if need be, but yeah, yep. So I, I would say one 133 <laughs> is going to be a little bit um, open for us. So we'll we'll see kind of how things uh, progress here. Um, and who steps up, we'll likely see that um, who doesn't make that starting spot at 25, they may bump up to 133. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got some things in the mix that might change over Christmas. Um, but right now, 133 is up for the taking, and whoever decides to, to step, step in there has that spot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, 141. 141. Um, we've got uh, Troy Mita, who has um, – Varsity experience from last year, you know, he wrestled in the Hart Conference at 149, so he's down to 141. He's the front runner there. Um, he's going to be getting pushed and challenged by Hector Diaz and McGuire Badorf, who has some uh, experience as well. So it'll be interesting to see how those play out, but um, right now, uh, Troy has that little bit of the edge just with, with the experience and being down a weight class, you know, I think he's. Um, It'll be his first time down at 141. He's handling the cut really well, and I think he's going to uh, perform a little bit better at 141. Sure, definitely. Uh, then move up to 49. 149, you know, with uh, Joe being out of the lineup now, uh, Cameron Hargrove is making the cut down to 149. Okay. So he had a really great year last year. Yeah, he, um, he only lost one match in the regular season uh, to, all, to an All-American by one point and didn't have the best conference you know um so we're, we're we're excited to see 
him being down at a weight class where we think that size probably did play a little bit into yeah. some of those matches, just being a little bit on the smaller side and just being younger too, you know, being a freshman at, at uh, 157 makes a big difference. So he's going to um, be down at 149 for us this year and, uh, you know, got to put the whole of a, a national qualifier All-American for us, but I think he's up to his ask. Yeah, definitely. Um, anybody else, I guess, that we're – Missing in forty nine or forty one for that matter either. No, those guys are I'm pretty locked in. Those yeah, guys yeah. Are, are pretty locked in. I don't see those guys getting challenged. Sure. Though. Yeah, fifty uh, seven. Fifty seven. Fifty seven. So with uh, Cam dropping down, we're gonna have Steven Skews moving down from move down to okay. one sixty five. So uh, kind of the same thing with with Steven. You know, he had a really great year last year. Uh, I think he was close to kind of breaking it out there at yeah. at conference. Um, you know, and kind of the same thing, him being down at 157, a little bit more, uh, I think his style will um, find more success at 157. He, he's going to throw some guys. Yeah. Like he's, those extra eight, <laughs> eight pounds that he's got. His, his style, yeah. He could, yeah, his, his style, you know, when, when he was, um, he's, he's a strong guy, you know, being being able to um, have, have down a weight class eight pounds less he's going to have a little bit more success sure. in some of the things that he does so i feel like he's going to be uh, you know stud at 157 for us yeah see that for sure uh, 65 165 um it is kind of up in the air right now uh though probably the front runner will be michael baker um he's been injured the last two years so right. he hasn't really seen the lineup or had much experience at all but He's starting to get healthy, and we're excited to finally see how he's going to do. He's going to be um, challenged by Madison Mead, a freshman coming in. Um, and uh, Marco Guzman could be in the mix there. He's uh, battling some injuries, so we'll, we'll kind of see um, what, what he'll be able to do. But I see right now I kind of see Michael being the front runner there and uh, getting that starting nod here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 74. 74. Uh, kind of same thing. It's it's up, up for grabs, but right now I, I see Mikhail Stanley being that guy. He was he had a great year last year at 157. Uh, he wrestled 174 for us a few times last year, weighing 157. Mm -hmm. So he bumped up two weight classes, but was still uh, battling there, and you know lost a few close matches. So he's going to kind of bump up out away from. You know those four other guys. We we're pretty solid in those middle weights, so yeah. kind of getting him up um, by himself and uh, not having him cut any weight, um, just allowing him to be uh, quick and explosive. Yeah. I think he's going to uh, do very well. So uh, I see Mikhail being there and having a pretty, pretty good year. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you, that's where those three freshmen you're talking about, those guys that got a lot of good experience with. Stanley Skews and, and Hargrove. I mean, those are guys. Those, those guys are yep. prime for a big year after what they yeah. were starting to do at the end of the year last year. Yeah, absolutely. They they were really coming on there, really um, starting to peak at the right time. And it's nice. We just didn't want all of those guys bunched up. Yeah, so it's kind of nice that we're able to to spread them out and um, get them a little bit more action. You know, that was kind of a uh, little bit downside with uh, McGill and. Uh, at the same weight yeah, class, right. they kind of to split time a little bit, or we yeah. bump and move them around, yeah. get them some matches, you know. So this year we're, we're looking forward to those guys being spread out. Yeah, what we should, can do as a team. Yeah, should be locked in every night. We'll play it about their weight. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Yep, it's, it's gonna take a some tough, <clears throat> tough, <clears throat> tough guys and a tough team to beat us in the middle. Yeah, there. I see yeah. It's, you know, being very competitive there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Eighty-four. Eighty-four. Um, you know. Could see the return of uh, Matt Landsberger. Mm -hmm. You know, he was out last year, and um, <clears throat> a couple years ago he was having some issues. Uh, getting him getting him back healthy and back in the lineup, he, you know, he's got some experience, had some success uh, when he was in the lineup. Uh, otherwise, we could see a couple of freshmen there uh, with um, uh, Mason Walters or Jesse Fury. You know, they're showing some um, good um, uh progress growth here they're making that transition from um, high school to college right now pretty well so that's kind of what I see in the mix there at 184 mm -hmm. um, 
but I, I think that they, they should fare well. Yeah, definitely. 97. 97 should, should be Ray Lugo. Yep. You know, he had a really great year last year, too. You know, he was undefeated for the first half of the season, kind of uh, got an injury that kind of battled through and didn't really see the lineup for two months, right. you know, until we got back into uh, right before regionals, you know, but he was someone that was in the top 20. Uh, so I think that having Gray back in the lineup and um, having him healthy, we're, we're going to be pretty solid at 197. For sure. Uh, finally, heavyweight. Heavyweight, um, the Cameron Mitchell or uh, Branson Ford, you know, yeah. both of those guys had some, seen some action last year. Uh, Branson beat some t tough guys. You know, Cameron's beat some tough guys. So those guys are going to be battling out, you know, each of those guys might see some time in the lineup, you know, um, as we are trying to figure out who, who that top guy is and yeah. who's going to be the best uh, at the end of the year, but uh, we're, we're pretty confident that we're going to be set at heavyweight this year. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's break down the schedule a little bit. Highlight some of the, uh, the meets that you guys are going to. We've got some uh, dual tournaments in there. Yep. Um, just a lot, a lot of opportunities for the guys to get on the mat. So. Yeah, absolutely. You know, compared to a very dense schedule last year. We're excited to get back out and get some more matches in. You know, we had um, just duels last year. Yeah. And no open tournaments. So we're we're looking forward to get back to those open tournaments. Uh, we're excited for starting the uh, season off here in two weeks at uh, Wichita. So we're going back to where uh, the national tournament is held. So that okay. gives our guys an opportunity to compete at least once where nationals are going to be yeah. and see some teams that we don't normally see. Sure. And that's something that, you know, we we're very intentional about in our schedule, mm -hmm. you know, with those rankings holding um, a lot of weight and value and qualifying for nationals. So we're trying to see and beat those guys. Yep. So, you know, two weeks from now, that Saturday, that's going to be uh, a really great experience, good matches for us. Following weekend, November 13th, we have the Grand View Open. That's always, always, always tough. tough. Yeah. You know, a lot of the best teams in NAIA, you know, make their way to an hour away. You know, our guys see some, uh, even see some D1 guys, yeah. you know, but then you know, we also see D2, D3, and Juco. So that'll be a good one. Uh, also looking forward to making a trip out to Lindsey Wilson in December. Mm -hmm. That's going to be another one of those. Uh, important ones where we're getting to see some of those mid south teams yep. that uh, usually have some tough guys that are uh, in the rankings. So again, we're trying to seek out some of the best competition to see how we match up and hopefully beat those guys that kind of boost boost our ranking. Yep. Um, so that first half of the season, I would say those are probably the three important ones. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously our conference goals are always important. Um, those three have uh, national implications, and coming back. The uh, Missouri Valley Invite, it's basically a uh, two-day tournament. That's a mini national tournament for yeah. us. Yeah. You know, if you if you place at the Missouri Valley, Missouri Valley Invite, there's a good chance you're going to be an All-American because mm -hmm. there's, you know, most of the top 20 teams there yeah. in the country are there. And it's mimics very much like the national tournament where you win uh, Friday, you wrestle, and then you come back and you got to mm -hmm. make weight that second day. Oh, there you you know, so, and some of those guys are going to get six matches in every yeah. day. Right. You know, which sure. that's that's one of the only opportunities that we can get to yeah. do that. So that'll that'll be a big tournament, and then you know we're looking forward to hosting the conference tournament again this year. Yeah. You know, <laughs> maybe you are. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, that's it's, a, it's a it's a really good event for us. And yeah, good, I think everybody really enjoys it. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a, a really really big deal um, to host something like that, and then having just I'll call it the home map advantage where yeah. our guys get to sleep in their bed the night exactly. before to hang out in our locker room. We get to warm up and um, you know, be be in our wrestling room and have our home wrestling thing here cheering us on. So yeah. we're, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, for sure. All right. Uh, you know, last but not least, to talk about what's it going to take for this team to be successful at the extent of where we want to be successful you know, to reach those, those uh, you know, yeah. goals. Yeah, absolutely. We have the potential is there. We just got to uh, put in the work and show up. You know, and these guys have been working really hard this preseason. Um, I've been very happy with our uh, preseason training. Guys are working hard, getting tired, in their limits. And um, in the wrestling room, 
we're, we're well conditioned and we're starting to clean things up. We know that we're going to be a little rusty, a little sloppy on things, but um, they, they've really been starting to look sharper and yeah. their weight management this year is better. And then, you know, so our training is there. I think our training is spot on and we're kind of where we want to be and where we need to be. The next thing is, is you know, just making sure that we show up and compete. Yeah. You know, and I, I think that's something that this team did really well last year is when we were getting in those duels, guys were having fun and they were wrestling for the team. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's the, the big thing is going out there and looking for those bonus point victories. Yeah. And they they did that last year. And I think that's one of the first times that we had a team that was very aware and cognizant of team implications mm -hmm. and going out and get bonus points and then also trying to prevent bonus points. You know, if we find ourselves in a hold, you know, we got to battle back and um, not allow any bonus points. So I would say as far as duels are concerned with our dual schedule, that's going to be important. And, uh, you know, and, and then just making sure we're having fun. And I would say the, the culture and the, and the family feel that the team has is probably uh, the best place that it's been. So I'm excited to compete. They're excited to compete, you know, uh, know what we could do. I was just trying to go out there and make it happen. Definitely. All right. Once again, head men's wrestling coach Aaron Scott. Uh, we just talked about the 21-22 season. It'll start up in a couple weeks, so we're excited to uh, keep track of them. Best of luck uh, this season, coach. I'm sure we'll eventually be talking to you uh, again uh, pretty soon. So, absolutely. Right. Thanks, Wade.